Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So we've been talking about the start menu quite a lot on the channel of late, where in recent Insider builds and also with the most recent update that rolled out for Windows 11 earlier this week, which I'll leave one or two videos in the end screen that will give you more information about, we are going to see more advertising space being made available in the recommended section of the start menu. If you do have the relevant settings turned on to show that content um, in the recommended section on the start menu. And that's because the start menu's recommended section will be getting app promotions and is starting to get app promotions with that most recent update that rolled out earlier this week. Uh, similar to suggested apps in start on Windows 10. Now go check those videos out in the in, in the end screen if you want more info. But um, in last week's latest Canary Channel build 26,200, it seems now that Microsoft has changed the settings, the actual description of the setting related to the recommended section toggle to actually mention the word ads now. So this is a good indication that Microsoft is going to be bringing more promotional content, um, ads, whatever, suggestions, recommendations, as they call it, to the recommended section of the start menu in more up-and-coming updates. Now, this was uh, spotted by Albacore over on X, and here is an image. And here on top, this is currently how it is in the stable version. This is the setting and how it is described. It says, show recommendations for tips, shortcuts, new apps, and more. And if we move down here, this is in the Canary Channel build. Show recommendations for tips, shortcuts, new apps, ads, and more. So there Microsoft has actually updated the terminology to include ads now. So although this is a hidden feature and uh, had to be enabled using Vive tool, and this does give us a good indication that Microsoft is quite serious about bringing those, that promotional content into the start menu and making it basically a billboard for whatever they want to advertise, which I think is going to cause a lot of debate in certain circles. Now, with all this said and done, as I've mentioned previously, but just a quick recap, if you want to disable um, this so-called uh, tips, shortcuts, new apps, ads, and whatever from showing in the recommended section of the start menu it's actually very simple to turn off you just right click on your start menu head over to start settings and here you can see i have all of these turned off and here is the setting in question which is now going to get the ads added to the actual terminology and description of the setting if and when it does roll out to stable but what i would suggest is just turn all of these off it doesn't interfere with your daily usage and what it does is then obviously turns off all that content to show your recent files, new apps, yeah, in the recommended. And you can also go one step further by changing that from default to more pins, and that even further minimizes the recommended. And I certainly hope that in some future update, Microsoft actually gives us a setting to turn off this recommended. But with all this ad, ad with all these advertisements rolling out now that we are talking about on the channel, I seriously doubt that they will. Um, give us an option to turn off the recommended. It's just too much um, kind of in their favor to have a billboard yeah, on the start menu. So going to be interesting one to watch. But nonetheless, that's the latest. And as I get more information, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.